Hey everyone, this is Kelstan, and in the last episode we got two of the Shadow Challenges and did them not so well, but completed, which was always good without dying. And, um, <laughs> we are going to move on to the Broken Stair now, so here we go. How that is not like a stone version of an ent, I, I have no idea. But anyway, uh, here's our first enhancement. Do, 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 do. It is the Ravager, which is freaking awesome. Especially if you love using the environment like I do. Uh, it makes everything, you know, that much easier. Um, I recommend you attach it to the Chaos Eater. Although, for this achievement specifically, it does not really matter. Take a little info. Guaranteed souls are destroying environment objects by any means. You know, that just gets you a couple more souls from environmental kills. Excuse me, from uh, destroying the environment, which means when you're using it to kill people, you'll get more souls out of it, which is nice. And then uh, just overall damage passive, as far as I can tell. And my little experience, you just by ge the passive bonus is not, this takes effects always. So you do not have to have it equipped in order to get the effect of a passive bonus from an achievement. Um, and this is from one of, the one of the legendary enhancements, which it does not need to be equipped for its passive ability to work. Um, so I believe that's the case for all of them, but I might be wrong, and feel free to help me out on that. Anyway. Here, oh, you so, yeah. And here's our fancy little way of getting around. It's a little bit easier than just dashing. Excuse me, dashing. And, uh, yeah. And you don't want to miss the soul chest that's right back here. And right there, behind those tremor, excuse me, behind that ice for the tremor gauntlet is a champion artifact, and we'll be back to get that. That is the infamous one that, uh, see, there's only four here, like, this is another place where some people say to get the high flyer achievement, but there's only four. There's only four. You cannot get, the, you need to get five. That's why that chow challenge is the best place to do it. If you didn't get the first time around, I know it sucks to try to, you know, redo the whole thing, but I'm... I swear that that's probably the best place to do it. And just get some nice little kills here. And uh, I think the scythe is the most effective in the air, believe it or not. She, when you get the air, uh, com the air combat moves for it, it, it becomes that much more useful, and it does quite a bit of damage as it levels up. So you think you'll be using cast eater most of the time, and yes, you will be. But um, don't underestimate the use of the scythe. that and then like on during the instant kill moves or in the B moves you uh, actually can damage you know the guys around you which is nice it's funny just as I got hit I was gonna say man so far I haven't been hit yet so you know mind jinx That should be it. All right, moving on. And here is the infamous broken stair, and uh, it's also a place that we can get everything for it now, and we never have to come back. So that's a nice little you know place to check off. And I was gonna jump on that guy, but he ran away. So, and here is. An artifact do, 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 that I think probably it's it's not that well I mean it's not really that hidden but uh it's 
sometimes if you're not looking for it, it can be missed. But, this environmental kills here. With our new achievement, or excuse me, enhancements. Huh. You exploded because the car hit you. Alright. And, um. Right, down here we want to get the Vulgrim location. And, uh, there is. A soul chest and a lifestone chest down here, if I'm correct. Yes, I am, so. Go me. So here's the soul chest. And here is lifestone number three. And I don't know if we'll get number four in this episode, but definitely the next for sure. And we will have our first completed life stone or heart container or heart what heart piece what whatever. Now this game is definitely Zelda on steroids and that's why I love it so much. Alright, get the Vulgrim Loak right here. Do a little shopping. Shoes. Uh, that how was that video like a year? But anywho, um, weapon master is actually an uh, enhancement I never ever used ever. Uh, Bane I definitely use, but that's not something I want to save up for. If you have the money, I would recommend picking it up. Wrath shard actually I would recommend waiting till after the Twilight Cathedral. But um, and of course it's up to you. Because early on, we don't have any comments. You want to use them as much as possible. Uh, yeah, here we go. Here's the other air, one of the air moves I was talking about. And a stone skin. Yes. You want to get this early on. Stone skin, especially apocalyptic, if you decide not to start with uh, the abysmal armor like I did, makes it much more plausible to get through some of the combat situations. And um, should not be overlooked, even at the higher levels. And again, it does increase damage as well as, you know, just defense as well. So, we'll, uh, that is the wrong menu. And we will equip that right now. To the B. Alright. Thanks, welcome. Anyway. Um, let's see how long we got. Got four minutes. Alright, so we are going to start heading up there again. I don't know if we'll get the life stone or not this episode, but definitely the next. Uh, there's no environmental as I just, you know, throw. Oh, there might be some chairs in here. Yeah, there's not. And there's nothing back there, so we just head on up the stairs. Alright. What did we just get from the scythe store? There in a sec. Uh, stupid zombies. Okay, with our uh, enhancement on, the environment does even more damage now, and it was already pretty good before, so. Alright, another environmental kill to add to the tally, and get the soul chest right here. And, uh,. You know, especially with the scythe, just get, especially with the, you know, enhancement attached, you get a good number of souls from the environment, so maybe definitely worth a look right there, but, and it looks like we will get the soul chest. Alright, excuse me, the, uh, life stone number two, which is always nice. I think I got a double kill with that car. We got just trying to get uh, environmental kills. Because you want to get that done early on because it becomes less and less more possible because you need to get the killing blow with the environment. And here is a first life stone, our first complete heart container, and our 
fourth heart piece slash lifestone shark. And, uh, yummy. And we have it before the first dungeon, which on Apocalyptic, again, without the abysmal armor, makes it that much more possible. So, uh, it is a little bit early, but I'm going to cut off before the major boss thing that's right here. And, uh, so on the next episode, we will... Yeah, so next episode, I will... No, 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 no. I'll have to think about this now. Alright. Uh, I'm not sure on the next episode we will uh, have the 160 kills on the Angelic Mount. I will do it for you guys. Um, that, I might make that its own separate video, so we might have a couple of short episodes here to try to fit it all in. So, alright everyone, uh, this is Kelsan, and thanks for watching.